Good morning everyone. While we're waiting for others to get in and get settled, now's a good time to grab anything you need to get comfortable. Maybe it's a glass of water or a hot cup of tea or coffee. Also, if you have items at home and you'd like to smudge with us, it's a great time to grab those items as we begin to ignite the healing within. Relatives, if you don't have smudge at home, that's okay. Those of us who do, and myself, will send you some cleansing, positive and healing energy. It's a new day. It's another sunrise. It's our opportunity to decide what we want and what we need and how we can move forward on our wellness and self-care journey. I'm going to grab my feather. It's right here. I forgot my feather. There we go. So welcome everyone. Aloha kakahiaka. Hello and good morning. My name is Malia and I'm a community healer at the Her Wellness Institute. We are a nonprofit organization that focuses on the mental health and wellness of our relatives of Turtle Island, as well as other indigenous and underserved communities and also victims of crime. You can join us here every Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. where we will always breathe, stretch, explore ways of integrating self-care and wellness into our daily lives and we will always honor our cultural traditions our customs our ancestry our strength and our resilience so thank you so much for joining us this morning i would like to take a moment to recognize our her wellness institute team members that are here with us we have one of our cares counseling interns Odessa Peters. When you see the Her Wellness Institute commenting, that is Odessa. Good morning, Odessa. How are you doing? We also have our occupational therapist, Claudia Meyer Smith. Claudia, how are you doing? Good morning. Know that Odessa, Claudia, and myself each have our own gifts, our own skills, and our own way of aiding all of our relatives here in their healing. So if you need any of us, please do feel free to comment in the comment section at any time. You are welcome here to do that. As well, you can always inbox us too if you want to talk to somebody more privately. To all of our relatives out there, whether you're new to these videos or you've been here since the beginning of them, I want to say welcome to you all. We're so happy that you could join us this morning as we practice what our founder and CEO and amazing person, Leah Denny, has coined and developed as community activated medicine. And what community activated medicine means is that the people are the medicine. And right here, right now, we are in a circle of care where we all get to be able to talk about what's in our mind, how we're feeling, take stock of what we need for the day, and even just where we're at. And we can lean into others when we're feeling that we need some support. And others can lean into us when we're feeling strong and ready for the day. So no matter where you're at, relatives, on your healing and wellness journey, no matter how you're feeling today, there is always a place for you in community-activated medicine. I do want to start out with a check-in and see how everyone's doing. Do you know that if you're new to these videos, all you have to do and co to comment is like and follow the page. And we do that to keep it safe for everyone from things like spam and other technological unpleasantries that are unfortunately floating out there all the time. 
But once you do like and follow, it takes about 15 minutes. So for check-in, how you doing today, relatives? What is going on? How are you today? Please do feel free to comment in the comment section, no matter how you're feeling. If you're feeling good, great. Good morning, Kathy, I see you. If you're not feeling good, it's okay too. We want to hear from you. And you know what? If you don't want to comment, that's okay too. We can take a moment right now to gauge where we're at. How are you feeling physically? Are you feeling all right? Or are there areas of tension or pain in your body? Are you feeling any discomfort anywhere? Maybe there's some things that are laying heavy in your heart or some thoughts that are heavy in your mind. I'll give you a moment to take it in. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare my lemon water. my filtered water. Still a little small cup. I took my vitamins already this morning. I'm just gonna squeeze. Lemon and any citrus fruit with vitamin C. Most fruits and vegetables have some vitamin C in them. And of course, lemon has lots of vitamin C. Our body needs vitamin C every day for proper body function. It also supports the immune system and our organs. Also, not everybody knows that citrus and vitamin C is very, very good for the skin. It's a very, very good way to start your morning with cleansing the body, kickstart the metabolism, I'll save this for the compost, or I'll put it in my spray bottle with vinegar or essential oil and water. Um, it's a very, very potent cleaner, very natural. You can also candy the peel. You can put this in your garbage disposal. The options are limitless. It's a great way to start the morning. And if you care to share, let us know what elixirs are in your cup. All right, I'm going to check in and see how people are doing. Good morning, Kathy. So glad to see you. Odessa says, I'm doing okay. Feeling a bit restless and anxious from last night that is carrying into today. I have a feeling this will continue until the election results. Glad I can be here for some healing. Thank you, Odessa, for saying so. And... I will say I am having the same anxieties. <laughs> I went to bed late watching TV. I really couldn't. Um, I, it wasn't much of a productive work night for me. Um, I voted yesterday. It was very, very easy. Um, there was no line and no wait, which I was glad for for me. But yes, I am tired um, working from home today. But then I have a lot of meetings um, after work for my second job tonight. So just all in all, um, I know that today for me, how I'm feeling is I just need to like relax as much as possible. So because I'm feeling anxious and because I'm feeling uncertain, today is um, a day where I will truly just focus on being comfortable. I will be in my jammies all day today. Um, I will um, take things slow when I need to deep breaths when I need. If you're feeling anxious, remember, relatives, deep breathing is always a wonderful option. Be kind to yourself. Claudia, um, Odessa, from your perspectives, I would love to hear some self-care that you have today for people who are on edge, because I imagine the majority of the United States is on edge right now and feeling very um, nervous and anxious and probably could use some support. 
Kathy says, you look tired today, Malia, but also you look awesome like always. I am tired up to late following the election. Too late. Kathy, I hope you're taking care of yourself today. Let me know if you are able to take actions of self-care. Yes, I so am tired. I just could go back to sleep for the rest of the day, but I actually I can't, but I would love to. But um, that's how I'm feeling today, relatives. However we feel, that's important because authentically wherever you're at is where you're at. So if you're feeling some type of way and you allow yourself to recognize that that's how you're feeling, it's really good because then we can decide if, how, when, and what way you're going to move forward. Claudia says, need this today, especially positivity, feeling a lot upside down, going to rest today. Claudia, I'm so glad you're able to rest today. Wonderful news. I know you're a very, very, very hardworking person and always serving the people, always doing what you can to serve others. So I hope you have a chance to direct that energy towards yourself. Kathy says, thank you for sharing, or um, sorry, Odessa says, thank you for sharing, Kathy. I also stayed up late and I'm starting today knowing I have that vulnerability of not having a great night's sleep. All okay just to be just good to be aware of um claudia says i think i have lemons this sounds really refreshing today yes colby how you doing good to see you here thank you for being with us colby we're doing all right today i hope you're well claudia says for her beverage this morning she's drinking holy basil tea later maybe a chai i think i might do chai later I do have a tea that I have prepped and ready as well. Odessa says she's drinking black tea with cinnamon. Mm, is that the cinnamon roll on Odessa? Mm -mm -mm. Yes, relatives. For those of you out there, and I think I may be speaking to maybe mostly everyone's feelings right now, is that we are feeling anxious. We are feeling a level of certain uncertainty and definitely feeling on edge. I want to remind you, relatives, if you're not doing okay today, I will always remind us every video, every time that we meet, it is okay not to be okay. It is okay not to be okay. But if you're not doing all right, there's things that we can do, relatives. We're not stuck here. We can stay here and take respite and decide how we're going to move forward. But this isn't always and this isn't forever. So if you're not doing okay, it is okay not to be okay. There are things that we can do, though. I encourage you to reach out to someone that you trust, whether it's a friend or a family member or even a coworker. And you can also reach out to our CARES Warm Line, which is open every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. You can call or text. You can stay anonymous. And when you call our CARES Warm Line and you get that contact back, you can talk about what's on your mind. What's, what are you worried about if you're feeling anxious or sad, uncertain or angry? Or maybe you don't even know what the heck you're feeling. You're like, I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't even know. I don't know. I just know that I need to talk it out because I'm not all right. That's what our Cares Warm line is for. And you'll be connected to one of our Cares Warm counselors. Odessa, Claudia, myself, we know them all personally. They're amazing. They're passionate about walking alongside you on this journey of self-care and wellness. And relatives do know that when you call, it's judgment-free. It is stigma free. You will be respected. You will be heard. You will be listened to. And it doesn't matter what political side you are on. Okay, relatives, left or right, middle, up or down, black or white, everything in between, every color of the rainbow, no matter who you are, if you call the CARES Warm Line, you will be treated with respect and dignity. Everybody has the right to be able to lean into others when they need to. Everybody has the right to know that they have support when they need it. 
So relatives, not only can our CARES counselors provide you with emotional support, which is so important right now, and particularly at this moment right now, but it's always important. We can provide you with that emotional, with that emotional support and also resources that may be helpful to you. So no shame, relatives. We all need self-care. We all need to be able to lean into others. We all need emotional support. And I pride myself on being um, a very independent person. And I know many of you are. So don't feel like, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's strength to show that you reach out to people when you need it. When you need it. Okay, Odessa says, it makes a lot of sense that we are all a little on edge. If you notice that your shoulders are by your ears, like this, and that you notice your body is tight, which is very common when we are stressed, just take a pause, roll your shoulders back, and take a long, deep breath. And continue to deep breathe deep breathe throughout the day relatives. Odessa also recommends to stay hydrated. We are all a little vulnerable today with the stress and anxiety going around. This may mean we'll, we'll be a little more reactive to our emotions and thoughts. Yes, today is a vulnerable day for the United States and for everyone in it, right? So make sure relatives that you are being kind to yourself that you're deep breathing, that you're doing what you can to be comfortable, okay? Pay attention to the body and and know that, as Odessa said, we may be a little bit more reactive to our emotions and thoughts because we're feeling tense, because we're feeling that pressure. Colby says, this is just emoji I pray every morning. We have stretch every morning for some coffee in the morning and two in the morning. Odessa, relatives do know that when you call, it's judgment-free, it is stigma-free. Yep, absolutely, relatives. When you call, thank you, Colby. When you do call, honestly and truly, we're here to support you. I'm going to prep my tea. I also want to get into our positive affirmations after our deep breathing right away. because I really did focus on the feelings that we all are probably feeling right now, which is that uncertainty and that anxiety. I have some water that I steamed here. It's filtered water. Now, today what I'll be drinking is um, an oolong tea. This is from Fava Tea Company. Um, it is caffeinated and I am steaming it. When a tea is the green teas, black teas, and white teas, you do not want to boil them. Um, you want to steam them because if you do boil them, you can kill a lot of the important um, medicinal properties of the tea. Black teas are truly amazing because um, they have a lot of antioxidants in them. And this oolong tea, oh my gosh, it smells amazing. You can see these bits of... Um, um, grapefruit and also these, um, I'm not sure what the white leaves are, but let me tell you, this smells like a starburst. <laughs> it smells so good. And, um, what's awesome about black tea is not only does it have a ton of antioxidants, it also is very, very good for the metabolism. Um, it is a Chinese tea. It's actually an ancient Chinese tea. So when we're dealing with black teas, it is a fermented tea leaf. Know that whether you're drinking a black tea or a green tea or a white tea, it's all tea leaves. It's just the way that they process the tea leaves. So um, anyways, it does have caffeine and be warned to relatives, black tea is very, very strong in caffeine. So I don't typically do black teas, but today I know I need it because I'm really tired and I have a very, very long day ahead of me. And then I also have a little piece of, this looks like grapefruit. So I have a citrus grapefruit right here. And again, relatives, Fava Tea Company. Um, I love this tea company. They're a local Wisconsin brand. Let me just say about Fava. I don't get any kickbacks or sponsorship or anything from Fava Tea. 
I just talk about their teas because they have incredible teas. They truly do. There's a store in Appleton. There's a store in um, just on the border of Brookfield and Waukesha on Blue Mound Road. There's one on Greenfield. And you can also um, have them delivered to your door. They do um, they do um, porch pickup as well, too. Or um, you can go to their store and they'll bring their teas right out to you. So love in this tea. It is an amazing tea. We're going to let this tea steep for, I don't know, I think it says about three minutes. And then I'll go ahead and strain it and I'll enjoy a delicious cup of one of my favorite brands of teas. Okay, relatives, so let's go back to our comments. We'll do deep reading, and then we need to get into those positive affirmations. Oh, Sarah, my hula sister Sarah is here. She says, good to know about steaming. I had no idea. Ah, yay, Sarah. Terrell, good morning. Good to see you guys. So happy you're all here. Um, Kathy says she did some of our morning stretches already and felt like that snap, crackle, pop um talked about a few days ago i do feel like a breakfast cereal this morning <laughs> absolutely i love when i hear those crackles and snaps because that means i'm releasing something um odessa says because of today because we are all under an awful lot of uncertainty and anxiety it would be a good day to try and continue to practice some self-care being here is a part of that self-care so you're all starting your day with some healing Maybe it's taking a hot shower or bath. Maybe it's journaling or doing some doodling or painting or knitting, keeping the hands busy. Maybe it's going for a long walk, baking or cooking, and maybe it's snuggling up in a blanket and watching a movie. These all sound amazing. I would love to snuggle up with a blanket and a movie and draw and have like a nice hot cup of tea and then maybe a hot shower too. <laughs> they all sound great. Thank you, Odessa. Um, yeah, so about the steaming of the teas. When we have black teas, white teas, a green teas, you do not want to do past steaming. And how do you know if it's steam versus a boil? Well, I always just put filtered water on the stove and I turn it like medium to low heat and you know right when you see the the water on the bottom where it's just starting to have a bubble or two then I turn off the stove and then there will be nothing the bubbles will stop and then all of a sudden you'll just see steam rise up it'll be a pause and then the steam comes up off the water and that's when I know it's just right um oolong teas usually need just um they're they're very delicate just like the green teas it, it's a very slight steam and you just keep that um the tea um brewing for about three minutes so you add the loose tea after the water is steamed what happens if you boil the water and you put your tea, your delicate teas in the water is it will actually burn the tea it'll kill those components but the flavor will be bitter it might taste murky or cloudy um, it, it won't have a clean sweet flavor. It just kind of gets gross. So But what's funny about that is I noticed um, So many people they're so used to burning tea like even if you go to Starbucks They burn your tea by the way Even if you go to one of these fancy coffee places and you might be paying five or six dollars for your cup of tea They are probably still burning it. In fact, I don't know of a place that isn't <laughs> um, because they're just pulling it a, a boiling water out of a dispenser so I'm very particular about my teas at home. Claudia says, my best thought for today is that we're in a place that has lost predictability. It will be uncomfortable. Focus on simple, repetitive, and making yourself comfortable. Those cherished tasks that you love or really just kicking back and relaxing. Routine helps life to be under control, but don't force it. Do what your body is telling you to do. Thank you, Claudia. Yes, relatives, be gentle with yourself today. Do. Call your friend. Talk to someone, but truly do be gentle with yourself. Um, our founder and CEO, Leah Denny, she's brilliant, amazing, caring, compassionate, truly loving. Her Facebook post yesterday, she had jammies, check. 
Her dog by her side, check. Her cup of tea, check. Her blankie, the people that she loved with her. These are truly the types of things. Don't underestimate how important comfort is, how important it is in focusing on things that you love and things that you appreciate ab about your life. Yes, it is uncertain right, right now. Yes, we're stressed out, but we can get through it. So be kind and gentle to yourself. All right, I wanna do some positive affirmations and some deep breathing. So deep breathing relatives, and when you're in that rabbit hole of circular thinking and you just feel like you can't control and you're upset or you know you're just feeling tense in the body or mind one of the most powerful tools that we can go to is deep breathing and there's tons of different types of methods and ways to deep breathe there's hand breathing there's flower breathing there's heart breathing there's gratitude breathing Oh my gosh, it's limitless. But today I just wanna focus on plain old simple deep breathing. I'm gonna put my feet flat on the floor. You can sit, lay, or recline however you like. You can put your hands gently in your lap and I promise you relatives, stick with me here for a couple minutes and you will feel better in a, in a couple minutes. <clears throat> I'm gonna breathe in through the nose for a count of four. As I do that, I'll expand my belly. And then I'm going to exhale through the mouth for a count of six. And as I do that, my belly will contract. As we breathe in, relatives, allow yourself to focus on bringing in healing, positive energy, relaxation energy. <clears throat> bring in peace. And as you bring in that energy, bring it in towards areas where you might feel discomfort. Maybe it's your lower back or shoulders. Maybe your brain needs a lot of healing there and letting go. And we're going to release and let go of what doesn't serve us when we exhale. I have my hands in my lap. Eyes closed are optional. And let's go ahead and take a deep breath in, in through the nose. Bring in that healing energy and exhale and release. Deep inhale. And exhale and release. Bring in that healing energy, peaceful energy. Expand that belly and release and contract the belly. Let's do two more deep breaths and then we'll stretch. Inhale. And exhale. Deep inhale through the nose. Expanding that belly, bring in that healing energy and release what you don't need. Let's continue to breathe as we roll the shoulders. Your shoulders might be up here today, relatives. Let's bring them down. <clears throat> Continuing to breathe. Stretch the arms out. In through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Bringing that arm across, rolling that shoulder and upper back, rolling the wrist. Sorry, rolling the wrist, not the shoulder. Deep inhale. And extend to the other side. Oh, that feels so good today. I can tell I'm holding a lot of tension because, whew. Deep inhale. And exhale, let's bring that arm forward gently in front of us, pushing down on the fingertips. We're stretching the wrist here and the forearm. If you don't like that, just roll your wrist here. Or relatives, these stretches are all about you. Trust your body. Know that whatever stretch you want to do is just what you need. Clasping the palms out and up towards the ceiling. This is where you might hear a snap or a crackle or pop. I hear it. As long as it feels good, it's okay. We're gonna bring that elbow down, pushing with the hand, stretching the tricep. And other side. Take whatever stretches you need, relatives. Next stretch is here. If you yawn, let it let it out. Let the yawn out. I find out I yawn a lot when I stretch. We're gonna double tap that ear towards the shoulder. Nice and gentle, nice and easy. One more on each side. 
Then we're gonna roll the chin from shoulder to shoulder, keeping it in the front. Take it nice and slow, relative. And then we're gonna look down gently towards our lap, up towards the ceiling, stretching the neck. Down gently towards our lap, and up towards the ceiling. How'd that feel, relatives? You feeling okay? All right, I wanna get into our positive affirmations. I think that it's very important this morning. I do wanna say I'm gonna read one and then I'm gonna go grab my tea strainer. So I'm gonna step away from the screen after I read this positive affirmation. I'll step away for about 10 seconds, just so you know. Today I looked up positive affirmation for accepting things that we cannot change. I know that today, whatever happens, no matter who you're voting for or all of that, we all have a lot right now, a lot of nerves, a lot of uncertainty. And do know that when things happen and we cannot change them, there are some things that we can do. Here's an affirmation today. When stuck in a situation you cannot change, Accept it gracefully. Right now, there's nothing we can do to change. We all did our parts. So what will be, what will be. And that's why it's so important to be kind to ourselves today. Breathe. Know that we cannot control everything. And I know you know that, relatives. This is just like a reminder to all of us, including myself. But that also means that we have the ability to change the things that we don't want to accept. And what I mean by that is if you feel like, you know, um, this election will not change who you are. And you can change things that we do, that we can change about ourselves. We can choose to be um, focused towards our wellness. We can choose that, you know, although may, things may not go the way that we want them and on our path and journey with, of self-care and wellness, which is synchronous with our path of life, that sometimes boulders stand in the way of our path. <clears throat> and there we have choice. There we still have choice. We still have opportunity. When that boulder is there, maybe you might run and jump and hurdle over that boulder. Maybe you're staring at this boulder and you realize that you just walk around it. Maybe this boulder, you might want to lasso it, lasso it and pull it aside. Maybe when you look at this boulder, you're like, you know what? I just, right now I just can't, there's nothing, it's there and I don't have the energy to go over this or I have no control because not only is there a boulder, but it's fenced in on both sides. And if that's the situation, it's okay because there is when we can take respite. And I think that's where a lot of us are at right now. Maybe instead of jumping or climbing or walking around that boulder, we just sit down and we lean against it and we rest. I know that's where I'm at right now. I'm just sitting down resting and focusing on the things that I can change. I can change my health today by drinking lemon water. I have my vitamins. I have nutritious food. I have my teas. I have the ability to practice gratitude about the things that I do have. I am no longer accepting the things I cannot change. I am changing the things that I cannot accept. But when we are stuck in a situation we cannot change, we can accept it gracefully. I want your feedback and your responses, relatives. Let us know how you're feeling. How are you today? 
What are your thoughts on this? And do you have any messages of peace for other relatives out there? 10 seconds, I'm gonna go get my tea strainer. I got my nice, beautiful, big tea mug here because I know I want a big old cup of tea today. I have my tea strainer. I'm so looking forward to this black tea, let me tell you. I got some tea leaves already in my strainer. That's okay. Let me angle this down. Peaceful moments. Take it slow. Take it easy today. It's okay to slow down today. I'm going to take a moment to just look at this gorgeous cup of tea. It smells amazing. It does have that um, fermented black tea aroma in it. But it also has these really gorgeous um, smell of like, it reminds me of Starburst. Really what it is is fresh citrus. It smells amazing. I cannot wait to take a sip. At this point, it's not very hot. It's um, slow steam, so it's just slightly warm. Mm. Oh my gosh, the tea is so good. Whenever I eat something delicious or drink something delicious, it's always an awesome moment for me to um, practice gratitude for just the amazing abundance and gifts that the creator has given us. And wow, tea to me is always like the affirmation of yes, this is not an accident. Teas are made for us. They are our medicines. They are here to heal us. Um, as a matter of fact, the lunar phase that we're in, according to my ancestral teachings, known as Kiala Okamahina, or the pathway of the moon, it's the native Hawaiian ancestral teachings of the moon. Today, we're in a beautiful lunar phase that really does focus on our natural medicines. For our Turtle Island relatives, you can look to the medicine wheel to serve you. Um, we are in the moon called um, La'au Pau, and La'au is like medicine things. So... Um, I think of teas, I think of citrus, our natural supplements and vitamins, the wind, the water, the fire, the earth. Go outside if you need to. I Yesterday was gorgeous. It was like 70 degrees. I think it's the same. It looks absolutely stunningly beautiful outside. So just know that the creator gave us this opportunity to always honor and cherish our natural resources, our medicines. And when we are in the La'au Pau moon, that literally does mean that we're in the last day of the medicine moon of the lunar phase. Tomorrow and for the remainder of the week, we go into a different phase of the moon. Um, they will be reflective phases. So I think that's really good considering the, um, the current um, state of our country as we wait for these election results. Um, we do have, um, we do step into the Ole Moons tomorrow, which means it is a good time for prayer. It is a good time for reflection. It is a good time for rest. Um, today, again, do, um, at least according to my ancestral teachings, and these aren't the know-all be-all, um, we all have our own, um, beautiful cultural, um, traditions and our cultural wisdoms and knowledge. So, do know relatives that whatever color the rainbow you are, whatever tribe, chiefdom, or clan, or whatever part of the world that you hail from and your ancestors come from, that culture is medicine. Our natural, our plant relatives, our flower relatives, our tea relatives, all of this is medicine. And today is a beautiful day to focus on that. Today is also a good day for fishing. And although we're done in um, Wisconsin with our planting season, in other areas, it's a great time to plant trees. 
um, any types of fruit trees, fruit trees. It's a good time for things to grow tall and strong. I want to say be kind to yourself today relatives truly do we can't change everything we can't control everything but a great place to be is to focus on what we can do for ourselves and our wellness to practice this radical compassion and radical self-love today tomorrow and all days regardless of what's going on around us Love is always the answer for the way that we can treat ourselves and the way that we can treat others around us. I know that's hard. I know that we're in a society right now that is intentionally dividing us. And that discord is being felt no matter what spectrum you fall on, on the political, social, economic. We know that division is not what we need. So we can always lead with love and compassion. And again, I cannot stress enough that compassion, the best place to start is with yourself. Do take good care of yourself today. Nurture yourself the way that you nurture anyone that you love. Be kind to your inner child. Do what you enjoy. I want to say mahalo nui loa. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We'll get through this today, relatives, tomorrow, the next day. Just know that our life is full of infinite variables of possibilities, infinite moments of gratitude, infinite moments of ways to show love. We can do that. That can be part of your medicine. Malama pono iku kino. Take good, righteous care of your body, your heart, your mind, and your spirit. In whatever way you see fit today. Aloha nui. Huge love to you all out there. Love is the answer, guys. Just know that we're all here in this world trying to figure it out, to be kind to those around you, radical compassion and radical love towards yourself and others. Before we go, there is a community survey linked to this video. Please take a moment. If you haven't yet, relatives, click on it. It's completely anonymous. It asks just a few questions. That's how we keep our services completely free. Please take the survey. Ahuiho akuno. We'll see you all later. Get some rest, guys. Sending you all lots of love. Aloha.